on me, little sugar buggers. Welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4. Good morning, you guys. It is currently Monday morning, and Starlet and little baby Salem are practicing some flashcards. You guys, today is also Meet a Celebrity Day. Starla is going to call in today because, surprise, surprise, it's Helen, I guess, had to stay late for work, which I don't even know how that is possible. But yet again, Starla kind of being Starla. She's choosing to be ignorant, but I really don't think she's that stupid. Anyway, it's totally fine. She wants nothing more more than just to spend the day with her baby boy. Um, maybe even possibly go and book a massage later. I think that would be really beneficial for herself. And it says Starla is currently at work. No, she is not. I just had her call in. Like, why does it just insist on screwing me up? Like, what is going on? We're going to have her try it one last time just to call in. I did have her take a vacation day, but I might have, um, while I was gabbing my gums, I might have accidentally, hold on, find a job. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, why can't she just call in like what is what is what is the problem take a vacation find a job I'm pretty positive I had her take a vacation day I mean I guess we're gonna find out but hopefully not in the worst way anyways it looks like uh Starla in Salem might be a little bit hungry and I don't actually have a high chair in um in the house right now so I'm gonna go into the catalog really quick and purchase one I also went ahead and gave little Salem a big old toddler bed I don't know why you guys I just really am in love with Salem he is just the cutest little freaking noodle I love him so much and I feel like Starla is such a beautiful freaking mom I think she's amazing especially with everything that she's dealing with presently um and then somebody questioned me and they're like hey why do you like Talon so much like you always saying how you love him and you know he's trash well <laughs> sometimes um there is treasure in trash but I definitely don't feel like that is the, the, the particular situation that is happening here. But I, I, and then another person did come to my defense and they're like, you know what? You, they, she loves what she can see in him, I guess, or like what he could be. And that's so true. So I just wanted to like address, um, in case you guys were wondering why I would love a POS like that. I think I love what he could be and what I wish he was not necessarily what he is, if that makes sense. So that was definitely a really good question. Anyway, I kind of wanted to make it go with the whole orange and blue theme. I know it's not in our kitchen, but <laughs> our kitchen is literally competing with the size of a Kleenex box right now. So a couple things Starla would like to do. She would like to schedule a date which it's really admirable that she still wants to have a romantic uh, you know, connection with her fiance when he's acting like such a freaking douchebaggle. But she also wants to go and rake some leaves. So I'm actually going to have her go into the kitchen here and serve a little bit of breakfast. We are going to whip up some eggs and toast. Now I just got to make sure sometimes I have to come in here and make sure my, my Sims aren't, um, you know, like, well, it's vegetarian, not vegan. So I guess it doesn't matter, but I always like to make sure. And then Salem right now is making a big Big freaking mess in the middle of our living room while Starless trying to cook the freaking eggs and toast. Like, this is definitely classic mother status right now. We're gonna have her go over here really, really quick and see if it's possible to reprimand him for literally like getting all of his paints out and just like just making a whole freaking floor mural right now. Um, so disciplined recent behavior. I think she's gonna be not like strict, 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 but I feel like she's going to be firm. So we're gonna tell him not to make a mess and I I'm really freaking hoping that in the process of doing this, our house doesn't catch on fire. Okay, cool. So let's go back over here and resume the eggs and toast. I'm not going to lie. Like, he just gave her... <laughs> <laughs> the mean mug like hardcore anyway where is Talon wait the Oakstead <gasps> the Oakenstead oh my god he's with Juliana you guys are you freaking kidding me so when he told her he had to work which you know I mean it could have been could have been plausible he was actually cheating on her yet a freaking again and I'm telling you karma <laughs> she's gonna bite him in the culo so damn freaking hard and then also Starla's mom really wants to meet little Salem. Uh, she met him a couple times when uh, Starla initially had him, but hasn't really seen him much since. So, oh my God, she just threw the eggs on the stove. I love her. Um, so I think we're gonna we're gonna have a full day of it. And I don't know if Talon. Ooh, look what the dog dragged in. I don't know if he actually has to go to work today. Um, he does. He actually works in seven hours. He needs to write jokes and practice music. Hence, probably why he's gonna come up with an excuse as to why he can't go and visit my mom. But that's totally okay. Let's have him go 
in here and pay the bills and get the mail because that's probably all that he's good for. And surprisingly, he does actually have a whim where he would like to talk with Salem. So maybe he's starting to feel a little bit guilty and maybe he can change it around. I'm going to cry. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if little Salem is wandering to go and greet his daddy. Seriously, that breaks my heart. I hate this so much because it just hurts. I, I can tell that Salem, for whatever reason, just has like this natural gravitation towards his father. And his father loves him, I guess, right? But I don't think the uh god this is so bad but i don't think the connection is mutual if i'm being completely honest but this is a sweet moment so i'm gonna enjoy it for what it is worth and then i'm actually gonna have starla yell out to talon to feed salem so that's what he's gonna go do he's gonna go and put salem in the uh, high chair here and then grab him a dish over there okay perfect so grab grab a serving for salem this should work but i'm not sure i hate the high chair because it's like so dysfunctional sometimes and then i think what starla's gonna do is she has until five o'clock until Talon actually has to go to work. So I was thinking maybe she could go to the spa for a little bit, just kind of like focus in on herself. And then she does need to start writing books too. So I feel like we just definitely need to go out and kind of like de-stress a little bit because there's just so much going on. They're supposed to be planning their wedding and all these like amazing things. And right now, Starla just has this feeling that's eating at her in the pit of her stomach. And I don't know why, but it seems to have almost gotten worse since the fact of, um, <laughs> oh my God, do you see what I'm telling you, you guys? Do you see what I am telling you? You you have somebody put the toddler in the freaking high chair. Okay, and then somebody comes in and literally jacks it up. I don't know what the hell is going on. But you know what? Let's just while we're while we're here, while we are here, um, try to be romantic and express our fondness. Um, also, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have her go and caress his cheek. But that's literally it. I'm going to let him handle the freaking fort at this point. I think we're just going to have her go um, head on down to Newcrest. And then if you guys are noticing that I'm talking a little strange uh, this morning, Speaking of kids, aren't they just little angels? Um, Crixus decided it would be fun to play headbutt, and he literally headbutted me underneath my freaking chin. And uh, well, the two teeth, like this is so cringy. Like I hate the word cringy because it makes me cringe, but like literally just thinking about it is like nails on a chalkboard. So you know when your teeth like grind together or they touch, like the top teeth, and they make like this sound. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Well, anyway, that's how my teeth were. Like, imagine your fingers, like, touching, you know, like, little, like, little, like, teeth. Um, and I don't know, because I was, I was smiling or something. And then they, like, rinded in a piece of my bottom tooth, kind of, like, flaked off, which is so freaking scary. I literally thought I was having, like, a, a matching lower gap. I wanted to cry. I threw him on the ground, not, like, you know, abruptly, but I, like, put him on the ground hella quick because I was holding him, and he was just mugging the hell out of me. Like, he didn't even care that he damn near lost a tooth. So, so if I'm talking a little strange, it is because I, 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 I notice it, and it's rough, and it feels just really strange, and I don't like the feeling, and just, you know, amongst other things, it's just super Super, super frustrating right now so I'm not really sure but I'm pretty positive that this bad boy is also supposed to be over here as well but for whatever reason um it wasn't showing up so I went ahead and fixed that but here we are Starla went immediately into the sauna and boy oh boy is she feeling amazing right now um who is this chick we actually just met with her and uh yeah maybe we'll keep in contact I kind of like her a little bit and I also like Lorena a lot too as well so we're gonna send my mom a little text message we're just gonna you know let her know that we'll be over a little bit later um how much money do we have we have a thousand simoleons so i definitely need to work on getting some more royalties wait hold on who says oh my god it's talon's mom hola um share some insecurities you know what that would be a little too forward but like i'm all about it complain about love lives yeah let's just totally rag on your son i'm sure that will go over real big anyways uh, we're gonna go ahead and communicate oh hey hi nice to see you pitch story idea just kind of chit chat a little bit discuss some interests get to know her a little bit better because even though you know things may not work out perfectly um for 
our relationship with Talon. At the end of the day, Lucia is the grandmother of our child, so we do have to have some sort of respect for her. And then, wow, I just saw boiling bowls. Okay, that's hot. Anyway, <laughs> let's come over and get a massage once we are done kind of loosening up a little bit. Now, we could get a fertility massage, but that is probably the craziest thing we could ever do right now. But I think what we're going to actually grab is something a little bit more affordable. So we'll just do this Swedish massage. Now, I am not the best when it comes to massage, massages in general. Like, I'm a child. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I get embarrassed beyond words, um, especially when they're like, hey, get into the robe. And they start, like, rubbing the back of your legs. I'm, like, so afraid. Like, a hand's going to slip and they're going to, like, touch you know, <laughs> something they shouldn't, you know, my nadgas or something. It's, it's super, I just, I can't, I am, I, I just, I admire people who can go in there like guns a blazing, get all the massages and like have their, their dignity after. I just, I get too freaking embarrassed. I'm not going to lie. Like I just really do. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to go and have her grab a Swedish massage. She is already in her towel. She is just prancing around. This is good. I'm really excited to see her kind of just relaxing and doing her her thing. Thank you, madam. Uh, she seems to really hate her job. <laughs> I'm just going to say like this face doesn't make me feel like she's excited about it. So what are we doing? Why are we getting off? What happened? Um, oh, she, she got, wait, hold on. What are you? Oh, oh, she, oh, she wanted us to change. Okay, perfect. That's that, that works for me. So look at her. She's getting her little deep tissue. So she's doing a little, she's doing a little chop chop action here. Okay. Um, this is cool. I like this. This was only $180. And my chair is going down. Like, my actual chair is what I'm sitting on. For some reason, like, you guys are, oh, <laughs> I'm losing ya. Oh, my God, dude. I don't know if that is, like, a freaking cue to lose weight or what. But, whoo, girl, I am just, I was just, we were <laughs> hydraulics. You know what I mean? We were parking my pimping right there. I felt like we were just, we were just going down to the ground. Like, literally, that's how my 2019 is starting Anyways, let me go ahead and zoom on through a little bit here. I do believe Talon actually has to go to work around 5 o'clock or so. So once we're finished um, with this bad boy, I think we're going to probably go and head on over to um, my mom's house. And that was amazing. That felt absolutely incredible credible and apparently this chick here maybe not I don't know um she actually is the leader of the yoga class maybe I don't know all right so is there anything else that we really needed to do here Starla is feeling amazing she's reacting to the massage she's feeling rejuvenated like this chick could conquer the world who needs guys you know just stick it to the man we're gonna have her go over downstairs and get back into her everyday wear I need to give this girl a full on makeover like <laughs> seriously as much as I love her she's been literally wearing the same clothes probably since we began this freaking series and um it's fall now you know what i mean so <laughs> No excuses, people. No excuses. So instead of having Salem and Starla go over to her mother Cindy's house, we decided just to kind of have the little get together here just because Salem is not in a good mood right now. He is feeling extremely sad over literally everything. And look at how cute he looks all cuddled up in his bed. Honestly, Talon is missing out because this freaking little one is a literal doll. Oh, you guys, Starla wasn't going to do it, but she totally freaking did. She just confided in her mom. Nope, heavy like big freaking time in fact her mom is like it sounds like you have a lot of reservations about this kid named Talon I mean he's shown a little to pretty much no interest in meeting me or you know like involving himself in your family and also it seems like he's doing a lot of shady things are you sure he's the one you really want to follow through with this marriage and honestly it makes Starla want to cry because of course she doesn't want to be in a relationship that's only one side and where she's practically like carrying on the weight of their romantic relationship and raising their child all by herself like in that case she might as well actually just do it by herself but at the end of the day I kind of feel like it's one of those things that is certainly easier said than done anyway I'm gonna actually have Starla kind of clean up the house a little bit her mom decided to go and take out the trash for us which is really helpful um, I'm probably gonna have her go and head home just because Starla does want to work on a few things, especially while Salem is napping. So I'm going to have her go and rake up some leaves really quick because she just wants to like tidy up the yard. And I'm also going to have her start working on her very next book. And oh my God, you guys are bees. Oh my God. 
goodness. I don't know how this is possible, but our little beehive has been officially singed, I guess, from our last little fire that we had in the kitchen. Um, it, like, took out our bee box because it's right next to it. But it seems like uh, the bee box is intact. Like, all of our bees survive. But for whatever reason, like, the outside is the only thing that's affected. I thought for a hot second um, we ended up losing our little bees. That would have been really sad. But it looks like Starla wants to buy a rock climbing wall. Um, and she also would like to do some sit-ups. And I think that's about it. So this is the little the little pile that she has going on. And it looks like Salem woke up from his nap. I'm going to actually see some of the things that he would like to do. He would like to be read a book. And then also he wants to talk to the mirror. So I don't know if we have any mirrors that he can talk to. I don't even think he could actually <laughs> reach this mirror. But if we had one that was standing up, I think he could. And that would be really adorable. We just don't have any room right now. So is there anything that he can play with? I don't think he actually has like a lot of toys. The only thing that we do have is this classic woodmobile, which I'm going to have him uh, go ahead and play with just to keep him busy for a quick moment. So let's actually go over here and um, write a short story yet again. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this one. Actually, you know what? I take that back. We're going to name this book On the Fence, literally like On the Fence because we're on the fence. <laughs> we don't know what the hell is going on anymore. Or maybe the five uh, metaphysical overtunes and one ensemble that right there just sounds like a total mind duck yes mind duck okay family friendly of course actually you know what I'm gonna be honest like a lot of people are like oh you're so family friendly or oh like we're family friendly I literally had somebody say we are a, fam a family friendly channel like in my comments and I'm like what no <laughs> no, no no we are pg-13 okay <laughs> that's that's what I dubbed myself pg-13 I wouldn't say like I'm totally like rated r um like wicked whim status but I'm definitely not like family friendly. I say a lot of things that, you know, are kind of like innuendos and I censor some words with other words, but you know, just PG-13. Think of me as PG-13. All right. Anyways, moving on. We are going to call it on the fence. Um, okay. So on the fence, what should, how should we describe this book? Um, literally, oh, always, always being stuck in between. I guess, right? That's cute. I mean, it works. <laughs> as long as it pays the bills, I really don't care. And my chair is still, like, freaking on this gravitational pull trip. I don't know what it is, but I keep getting closer and closer to the floor, and I'm only five foot, five foot freaking two. So, I mean, honestly, how, how much closer to the floor do we really want to be at this point? So, it looks like we have had Salem reach imagination skill level two, and with that, he can now look at pictures in the toddler books and play with others at the dollhouse. So, so can he go over here and grab a book? Is that possible? Yeah, let's actually have him read something or purchase toddler books. Ooh, that's perfect. So I'm going to have Starla grab a couple of these just to kind of keep him busy. They're kind of expensive. Um, but let me see what it is that we can we can find. How about Max's Man Saves the City? Wouldn't that be the cutest thing ever if we had like a little superhero themed birthday party? Speaking of which, we definitely need more like themed things for birthday parties. Like there's nothing. There's nothing to decorate with. But we're going to grab that book. I think um, Salem would definitely enjoy it, especially if Starla was the road reading it to him. Uh, let me see. I think we're just about done working on the next level of the writing skill. And oh my God, Talon actually got promoted to C-lister. Talon has been promoted to C-lister. He will now make an additional $4 uh, per an hour for a grand total of $40 per an hour. He has also received a $541 bonus in the Sim Idol rug. His next shift is on Monday or Thursday at 5 p.m. Sorry, I got a little distracted by this weirdo on our porch. Uh, I have no idea who the hell this guy is is but I think we're just gonna tell him to go away because he's kind of freaking me out a little bit and then apparently Jeffrey Landgrab is coming up to chat now obviously I am down to have a little mingle with this dude because he is he is some pretty hot ish like I don't know if he's coming to like sass us or something um but you guys you guys <laughs> you guys you remember I earlier how I was telling you about karma and her shenanigans? Excuse me while I fix my chair. <laughs> Woo, okay. Um, so it's in the works. The plot thickens, my friends. It thickens. Okay, literally like 
heavy whip or whatever. It's thick. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for the freaking showdown. So I don't know why we're, we're chatted up, but uh, let's go and give him a funny introduction. It looks like um, Talon wants to buy a bar. He also wants to perform a comedy routine and buy a puppet theater. So let's actually have Talon be the one to bust out a book here. Um, I really, 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 really love Salem. I know that I keep saying it, but I am so attached to this little turd like I am seriously in love with him I don't know how <laughs> Talon couldn't love this kid he's like one of my favorite toddlers and that's a stretch because we've got like the foremans and all that kind of fun stuff but I really do really do love him a lot now what the hell where the hell not what the hell but where did our new book go okay it's actually right here in his not not in his inventory but our our bookcase and we're gonna just have I guess maybe mm, I don't know go to go go on sit on the bed go sit on the couch just reach to the toddler wherever that happens like I don't ever invest this much time into my kids and even though Talon is exhausted he's actually making a much better effort to be more involved which I think is really cute and also something I just noticed something I just noticed isn't it cute that Salem is taking an interest into books because his mommy right oh my god i didn't even think about that you guys look at him he's like daddy will you read the book to me he can't say that yet but that's what he's thinking <laughs> he's like i can't wait for you to grow up so i'm to pay child support no i'm just playing anyway starla is grabbing another um oh, i was just gonna say all right okay all right there um she, <laughs> i don't know what that was i thought she was having more eggs and toast because i think they're pretty much like coming out of her freaking uh ears at this point so i decided just to fast forward to the manana because not a lot ended up happening last night other than the fact that Talon and Starla did a little woohoo action as you would expect for a lovebird pair that is engaged. Anyways, for whatever reason, Talon ended up waking up on the bright side this morning. He's actually whipping up some delicious gummy bear pancakes, which are Salem's freaking fave. And Starla actually, she published her book last night. I don't know if I told you that. But anyway, um, I, I like this side of Talon and I hope that it stays. Like, he's being for whatever reason like a very active parent and partner again I don't know if it's due to his like promotion or maybe it's because he finally got laid I really don't know like what it is uh but I like it and I and I hope I hope he keeps it because it's a good look so sorry actually just got done uh giving little Salem a bath and he is over here munching on some animal crackers which I'm sure Talon will be very happy to hear because he's over here like slaving away uh for these damn pancakes but I think if I'm not 100% certain um Starla actually needs to go to work here in about gosh uh 15 minutes and it looks like we're only 75 percent done with writing books so we're gonna just do a quick little practice writing session just to see oh no she actually has to write like a physical freaking book okay that's fine um let's just do another child or children's book maybe we can also dedicate this one to salem as well um we can make like a maybe like a, a sequel to max's man or something i don't know um this is never eat your pet turtle and other advice for kindergarten i mean that's kind of cute right let's let's do it oh my god i love turtles and frogs oh so much they're so cute i love them i love them i love them i love them okay anyway um are we gonna are we gonna you know what just take the damn kid out just let him out of the rig and high chair if he really wants to help himself to some uh pancakes he'll do it and he's feeling really energized right now like sugar 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 it says woo woo the motor is running and it is time to do stuff oh honey you're gonna have the hands full all right well he's gonna go and grab himself a serving i think i'm gonna have talon go and do a little munch munch i actually need to have talon do a routine like a comedic routine so he can perform some um maybe like a few of them or whatever the heck the situation is like at a lounge or something i'm starting to like ah, lose my train of thought but i feel like we are just about to the end to the end of this episode in particular and Starla was able to complete everything that she needed to so she's actually gonna go ahead and head in to work and yeah you guys well I feel like this episode was extremely extremely productive and it's kind of weird it had like this very awkward shift where in the beginning it was kind of negative and then for whatever reason 
Talon kind of pulled it together and he showed us what he could really, really do. Um, and I hope it stays, like I said, because I would love for them to be able to work things out. But I don't know. Maybe the damage is already done. Who really knows at this point? I guess we'll have to find out. So we just got a royalties this morning and we really aren't earning a hell of a lot. So hopefully that changes um, here eventually. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part here. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.